Wall Street analysts spend millions of dollars every single year trying to predict the stock market. But what if I told you that there's a brand new AI tool that can break down stocks faster, cheaper, and more accurately than they can? Because I just found a brand new AI tool that makes stock market research so easy that it feels like cheating. Because this tool can scan the web and gather all the information about the company that you tell it, both from the latest news and from expert analyst opinions, and even pulling in real-time sentiment in order to give you a complete picture before you make any moves. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what that tool is and a few other use cases that you could use it for. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is going to be Barry AI because you can come over here, you can spin up a new chat, and ask it something like this. Perform a detailed analysis of the best dividend returning stocks that I should invest in today. I'm looking for stocks with not only the best returns, but also that are the best price today. And then what I'm going to make sure that I do is I'm going to make sure that I click on deep research right here. And this is then going to go through and create a deep research report of exactly what I want done. Now, what makes Barry AI special is the way that it is actually going to approach us because what this is going to do is this is going to go through and think and then ask me a few different questions. And I'm going to go through and reply to these and then you're going to see exactly how this breaks us out. Okay, so the first question that this asks is where it actually wants to look. For example, US, Europe, or global. Two, what is the definition of best priced? Three, what is the time horizon for your investment? Four, do you have any specific sectors or industries that you want to avoid, then also what level of risk that you have. Now, I really like that it asks this because with us asking us to do this, these things are going to be highly relevant. So I told it to do US-based best price, meaning that it's undervalued today based on their analysis. Three, I'm looking for long-term holdings, one plus year. I don't care about the industry or sector, and I have a low risk tolerance. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to take all that information, and then it's going to spin up a bunch of different sub-agents that are going to perform subtasks in order to actually do this in an efficient manner. Because if you ask just a regular LLM to do this, what's going to happen is it's going to go off and try to do each of these things one by one individually. And that's not very efficient and it doesn't lead to a very good answer. And that's what makes Barry AI special is the way that it actually approaches this problem. So we can actually watch this and see the way that it's thinking through things right here. And we can expand on this right here. So, okay, let's break this down mentally. It goes through what it needs to do first and then what it needs to do after that. That, and then what it needs to do after that with a bunch of different sub points at each of these. And it also goes through challenges and mitigations. And now we could see that this is actually generating a plan and then it's going to make this happen. And then this is what that actually looks like when it begins to break everything out. We could see that this actually created a to-do right here. And then it's going to go through each of these in live time. And we are actually going to be able to watch it do this by looking at the console right here, which is pretty incredible because again, this allows us to in live real time, see exactly what it's doing, what it's taking into consideration with its analysis, and we're going to be able to track this. And look at this. We have all these different tasks happening at one time. We have market screening and initial filtering. Then we have company level fundamental analysis. Then we have valuation and risk. We have growth analysts. We have sector diversification. We have portfolio construction, and we can see all the different tasks that are happening under each of these. And again, this is what makes Barry AI special. And this is isn't only good for analyzing stocks or analyzing stock portfolios because there are a ton of other use cases that you'll be able to tie this to that I'm going to share with you in a little bit. And if at any point you wanted to see what it's actually doing in each of these, we could go through and we can scroll through all of these in order to access them, or we could download them or open them up on our behalf, or we could just jump over to current in order to see where it currently is. And as you could see, you could see from this view when it's actually finishing each of these subtasks and you'll be able to see exactly what it did at each one of these levels. Now, again, take into consideration all this. Just in one of these, it went through and did eight different things, and it is doing that four times, four times, five times. This right here is 17 times, 21 times, 25 times. So this is literally taking in hundreds, if not thousands, of different little data points different websites, and that is what makes this tool so special, and it's why this output is going to be so good once it's done. Okay, now this is almost done going through everything. We could see that it is done with some things, but it's still working on a few of these, but we could see that we now get a bunch of different files here. From these files, we can view these in order to see what this is actually taking into consideration, or we could download them if we wanted to, and we can even bulk download them so we get all of them 
in one shot. Okay, so now that this is actually done, this is going through and we could see that this gave us a detailed analysis of the best US listed dividend stocks currently undervalued, suitable for long-term holding over one year with a focus on low risk options. We could see the executive summary here, which outlines the screening criteria and a bunch of other things. We could see the table of contents right here. And we could actually scroll through and see all these different insights and all of these different things that this went through. And we could see that this is a pretty long very detailed report right here with closing remarks and even appendices right here. But the coolest part is that if we click on this URL right here, we can actually see this in a visual manner. It shows us the top undervalued dividend stocks, the current market environment, different investment criteria, the research methodology, key risk considerations, investment strategy summary. And this is pretty cool because we could send this around if we wanted to. Or we also have the final report in PDF format and we could see it's 14 pages long. We'd be able to download this if we wanted to. We'd be able to share this URL if we wanted to, or like I showed you earlier, if we wanted to actually see all the individual things that it looked at and went through in order to actually come up with this, we could download all these in bulk or view them individually or even download them individually. Now, before we get into the three other use cases that are gonna blow your mind with this tool, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pin comment below and get started with Barry AI today. Because this tool right here is gonna make your life so much easier and you're gonna regret it if you don't register for it. And I don't want you to think that this only works for something like stocks. You could also get this to actually code things for you. For example, we could come over here and we can say, please build a landing page for my dividend stock course. And now what this is going to do is ask us a few questions again, and then this is going to go off and this is actually going to code something for us. And in addition to just being able to code things from scratch, it can also clone GitHub repos, it can make edits to GitHub repos, it can debug code, and it can do so much more. And we can see right here that this literally goes through and in a few seconds created the HTML that we needed right here. And then I'm gonna say, please add all of that in and let me preview it here in the chat and you'll be able to see that very quickly and very easily this was able to do this which again makes Barry AI have so many different use cases. When we actually view this we could see that this is exactly what this looks like right here. Now obviously we would have to come over here we'd have to add in our course logo we would have to add in an image right here like it told us in the chat but we could see that this generated very quickly a landing page for us that we can now come through and customize. Now the second use case that I wanted to show off is we're going to come over here and we're going to say, please create a business plan for launching a men's luxury shoe brand sourced from China, focusing on rebranding, market research, sourcing, pricing, marketing, and expansion for the UK and EU markets. And again, we're going to do this under deep research mode. This is then going to ask us a few questions. It is going to build out a plan. And then we're going to have an incredibly detailed business plan. You guys saw earlier how good this was at doing stock analysis. Just wait until you see what this business this plan looks like. Okay, so from here, this went through and created an outline for what this business plan is going to look like for this men's luxury shoe brand. We could see that we have an executive summary, market research, branding, we see sourcing and production. And if we scroll down, we could see that it asks, would you like me to create a detailed financial production or marketing campaign next? And I said, yes, please do it for each of these. And then it went through, asked a few clarifying questions, and I told it that I wanted it for each step of this plan. Now we could see that this has broken out again into all of its thinking. We could see that it's developed a real plan and now it's going through, it's going to spin up the console and this is going to start to make things happen. Now I've already walked you through exactly how this breaks everything out, subtask, how you could view it in the console. So once this is done, I'm going to show you what the final output looks like. Okay, so now that this is actually done, here's what we've got. We've got a business plan for launching a men's luxury shoe brand sourced from China for UK and UE markets. We have the executive summary here. We can see that we have a table of contents, which again, goes through all the different things that you saw in the initial plan. And we could see that now each of these is incredibly broken out. It gives us data. 
gives us insights, gives us implications, which allows us to have a way more robust business plan. And we could see that we could scroll down this for each one of these. So this not only designed the business plan for us, but also went and found the data, did the analysis, did the insights, and gives us those implications so we can actually deliver this to an investor or to a co-founder or to a team internally if this was something that you were doing inside of another company. Now, if we scroll all the way down, what you were going to notice is that this also went through and created a URL for us so we could see this business plan visually right here. In addition to that, it gives us the final report right here, which again is going to be 17 pages long and we could download this, we could share this, and we can also access all 21 of the different files, different links, different things that looked at in order to actually perform this task. Now, the third use case I wanted to showcase here is how this can actually go through and do pretty complex data analysis. For example, if I ask this to generate a detailed financial analysis at Netflix using their 2021 to 2023 statements highlighting its strengths, risks, and key performance metrics for strategic review, this will actually go through and do that. So again, per usual, it asks a few questions. From here, it goes through and actually thinks about exactly how it should do this, lining it out into a six-step plan. And then for 13 minutes, this went through and processed tons of different things. For example, the SEC filings. It went through and did data quality and reconciliation. It went through and actually analyzed Netflix's financial plans and their trends. It developed KPIs and performance metrics. And then at the end here, we could see that it went through competitive benchmarking, market context, Netflix risk assessment, and even a strategic analysis and insights. And we could go through as deeply as we want and drill into everything that this did. And then this is what we have right here. We have this pretty complex analysis of Netflix's stock, their financial histories, their cash flows, their strengths, their risks, key performances, content spending patterns, foreign exchange exposure and hedging strategies, which is something I didn't even think about, and a bunch of other things. And if we scroll all the way down here to the bottom, as you can see, this is incredibly long. And then we have this URL right here to the Netflix financial dashboard. If we wanted to share this with somebody or if we wanted to view this visually very quickly, we also have the final report right here, which as we could see is 15 pages long. And we have all the different files that were used in order to actually create this. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through seven other AI tools that I personally can't live without. I'll see you over there.